the schools, and in fact, one of the programs that we use, um, your co-anchor, uh, Dick Johnson, donated his voice to, and that's part of why we're receiving the award. And how serious is this problem? Is this something that we're constantly seeing happening, particularly, I mean, I know the whole Chicago area, but in Naperville, can you tell me some stats? The, the frightening stats are that one in four children that sign on to the Internet are going to see pornographic material. One in five will be solicited for sexual acts over the computer, and over three quarters of a million children will be asked to leave their homes to meet with an adult to have sex with that adult. What can we do as parents, as teachers, as a community in order to help fight this crime? The most important thing for parents to do is open a dialogue with your children. Make sure that they understand if something happens on the computer, they can talk to you, good, bad, or whatever, that you won't overreact. Second is look at the parental controls that are offered by your service provider. Uh, parental controls such as MSN 8 allow you to actually tailor what email or junk mail will get through to your child, um, what instant messages they can have with other people online, what chat rooms, and how their browser is going to view the web so you can protect them from unwanted content. What would a message look like from somebody that we don't necessarily want our children to receive a message from? Some of the messages that should send off a warning bell is if anyone ever asks your child where is their computer or who uses the computer. After these questions, nothing good has ever come. The only one that really cares about those questions is a predator because they want to know if the computer is in a private area in the child's bedroom, then they know they're, they're safe from being detected. If it's out in a public area, then more than likely mom or dad are going to see what's going on in that computer and they're going to be caught. And isn't there a website that we can access as well for more information? Right. You can get all the tips and, and safety messages from all the winning cities at www.staysafeonline.com. Well, Detective Mike Sullivan, thank you so much for joining us today, and congratulations again on such an important award. Thank you for having me on. He is a pioneer in the field and really raised all of our awareness here in Chicago no and doubt. nationwide. Thank you, Mike. Good work. And the weather he is coming up right now. Tammy Sousa in the Weather Center with uh, all sorts of details uh, here oh. and elsewhere. Yeah, 83.